What's cracking, money boilers? My name is Bunny Tears. Welcome to episode two of Minecraft Portraits. I'm doing me lacunas today, sexy bitch. Now, I'm here at Frank and Frank's, just getting some stuff together, and apparently, they want me to leave by the looks of things. It's alright, Frank. It's okay. Calm down. I mean, I just fucking spent about a million pounds in here buying a load of shit to make me lacunas. I think it's probably because I emptied out the store. Look, this place is completely empty now. Anyways, I best get going, get to work. Frank and Frank's material store. See, it says open, you cheeky bastards. Anyway, super run. Out of way, pick. And there's me, because I'm a sexy motherfucker. So I'm going to use this one over here, so that means that me and Munakunas are going to look eye to eye for the rest of eternity. Sounds weird, but it's not. And I guess at this point, as soon as the first block goes down, I start the music, I start the speedy, and uh, we get started in general. So yeah, fuck it, let's do this. Okay then guys, I've decided I'm going to talk over the top of this sexual music and this sexual building and this sexual female, just to give you something to listen to while you watch the artist at work. And yes, I did just call myself an artist. But, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this series, just in case you don't know. Any he, any he, any person that you want built in this series, let me know. I will do it. Put it in the comment section below. Thumbs up the ones that you see that you like and want me to do if someone else has already posted it. And then that way I will know exactly who the community, the Bunny Boiler community, wants me to build next. Make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with the future episodes and all the other crazy videos that I put out. Make sure you like the video if you like the video, etc, etc, etc. But I've also decided that these portraits are going to get bigger by one square each time. Not one square just on its own, but one row at the top will be added, one row at the side will be added every single episode, which means that they're gonna get bigger and bigger, more detailed and more detailed. Now the reason I've done this is because making all of these characters or cartoon characters or celebrities or whoever the hell you guys want, I don't know, you're crazy guys, uh, whoever you guys want, it's a challenge, it takes a long time, but I would like the challenge to grow more and more as we go along. I'd like the portraits to get more and more detailed as we go along, and I kind of felt like I would get bored if I wasn't aiming higher each time. So they're going to get bigger and bigger. Hopefully in 100 episodes time, they will take about 100,000 blocks to make them, because that would just be absolutely insane. Obviously it would mean that I wouldn't be able to leave the house for about three days because I'd have to record for three days straight. I'd need to buy external hard drives to store all the data. But I'd be willing to do it for you guys because I love you all. So we're going to go through a bit of information about Mila Kunis if you don't mind. I'm sure you won't. So Mila Kunis was born Milena Markovna Kunis in the Soviet Union. Um, whereabouts? Oh, sh yeah, in, in the Ukraine she was born. Now... Her birthday is August 14th, 1983, which makes her, at this point in time of this video, 29 years old. She, she will be 30 years old on August 14th, 2013. And look at her. She is probably the sexiest 30-year-old I've ever seen in my life. 30 is still young. 30 is not old. I'm nearly 30 myself. That's not true, but it could be true. So, what else do we have here? So yeah, she moved from the UK to Los Ukraine to Los Angeles with her family. After being enrolled in acting classes as an after school activity, she was soon discovered by an agent. She appeared in several television series and commercials before acquiring her first significant role prior to her 15th birthday, playing Jackie Bur Burkhard on the te television series That 70s Show, which I haven't seen myself, but I hear good things about it. A year later, she was cast as the voice of Meg Griffin on the animated series Family Guy. Now, if you've seen Family Guy, which I'm sure you have, Meg Griffin's like the ugliest, most unattractive person, well she's supposed to be a character, that you can imagine. And yet Mila Kunis, probably one of the most beautiful things on this planet, does her voice, which I think is impressive. So her breakout film role came in 2008, breakout basically meaning her first successful, highly rated film role. So it came in 2008 playing Rachel Jensen and Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Subsequent film roles included Mona Sachs in Max Payne, Solara in The Book of Eli, well, great film, Jamie in Friends of Benefits, another great film, and Laurie and Ted, another great film. Her performance as Lily in Black Swan, which I haven't actually seen, gained her worldwide accolades, which basically means recognition, awards, etc, 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 etc. Now we're going to move on to films. Yeah, we'll go through the films that she's done. In 2001, she appeared in Get Over It, opposite Kirsten Dunst. She followed that up in 2002 by starring in the straight-to-DVD horror film American Psycho 2 alongside William Shatner, which was an awful film. 
a standalone sequel to the 2000 film American Psycho, which was an amazing film. American Psycho 2 was panned by critics, and later Kunis herself expressed embarrassment over the film, which is rare. The film has to be pretty bad for the people who were in it to express embarrassment over it. In 2004, Kuno starred in the film adaptation Tony and Tina's Wedding. Although the film was shot in 2004, it did not have a theatrical release until 2007. Most critics did not like the film, which mustered a 25% approval rate on Rotten Tomatoes. DVD talk concluded that fans would be much better off pretending the movie never happened in the first place. That's not very good. In 2005, Kuno starred in John Hedler in Moving... McAllister, haven't seen that, which was not released theatrically until 2007. The film received generally, generally poor reviews and had a limited two-week run in theatres. She followed up with After Sex, starring alongside Zoe or Zoe Saldana, who had also appeared in Get Over It. In October 2006, she began filming Boot Camp, originally titled Straight Edge. The film was not released in theatres in the United States, but was released on DVD on August 25th, 2009. And then... The good roles started, pretty much. So, th she had some tough times. She didn't just walk into success. She had some tough films, some kind of poorly rated films, and then she moved into things like Forgetting Sarah Marshall, uh, Max Payne. She was also in a comedy film called Extract with Ben Affleck and Jason Bateman. Uh, she basically just did extremely well from that one. I mean, obviously, Denzel Washington in The Book of Eli, which that film was absolutely insane. I loved that film so much. Uh, as well as, obviously, the ones I mentioned before, Friends of Benefits, Ted, and she's also got a lot more films coming out in the near future. Now, GQ magazine named Kunis the knockout of the year for 2011, Men's Health naming her one of the 100 hottest women of all time, FHM magazine ranked her number nine on its 2012 Hot 100 list, prompting Kunis to say, you've got to base your career on something other than being FHM's top 100 number one girl. Your looks are going to die out, and then what's going to be left? Maxim has consistently rated Kunis on its Hot 100 list, reaching a ranking of number five in both 2009 and 2011, and number three in 2012. Is Squire magazine named her 2012 sexiest woman alive, and she won't stop calling me crazy bitch. She just won't leave me alone. I'm trying to get some sleep. She's calling me up at like 3 a.m. I'm like, come on, Mila, give me a break. I need a break. I'm trying to make your Minecraft. You can't be distracting me like this. Uh, yeah, none of that actually happened, but maybe it did. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it did. It did. It did. She won a Young Star Award for her performance in that 70 show. She won another Young Star Award for her performance in that 70 show. She won a Young Hollywood Award for her performance in that 70s show. She won a Venice Film Festival um, Marcello Mastroni Award for Best Young Actress in Black Swan. Uh, Best Supporting Actress she won in Black Swan. Another Best Supporting Actress in Black Swan. Another Best Supporting Actress in Black Swan. So she's done extremely well for herself. I'm extremely proud of her. Uh, obviously, she's not quite my girlfriend, but she is my future wife. If I can stalk her down and tie her up and force her into it, maybe. So if any of you guys know where she lives, please do hit me up in the comment section. But, yeah, that was Mila Kunis, and I think we're about finishing it up now. So, just a few more blocks to go, two smallest of the blocks, and we will be finishing up here. I feel great about this. It took a long time. I hope you guys have liked it. Boom, boom. Happy times. Now we're going to go through a few cinematic shots just to show you exactly how big this thing is and how long it really took. The effort, the attention to detail is crazy. Now, it's big enough that if you were standing on top and jumped off, you would fall to your death big enough that it takes a good few seconds to walk from one side to the other and it's big enough to actually show the pure sexiness of Mila Kunis 2120 blocks Mila Kunis thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you now of course the next one is probably going to be more than that because like I said they increase in size so who next it's completely up to you guys coming soon let me know I'll start building let's get this shit done Alright then guys, if you enjoyed the video, you enjoyed the Minecraft Portraits Episode 2, or you just love Mila Kunis, 
be sure to hit that like button below because it helps me out hugely and lets me know you want to see more of these. You can become one of the Bunny Boys by hitting that subscribe button and staying up to date on my future videos. All of those videos, I like to think they're all pretty good. You can follow me on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash bunny tears online or twitter.com forward slash it's bunny tears. Both the links in the description. I love you all. You're all amazing. Be sure to comment who you want me to do next and bunny out, bitches!